Hey everyone, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whenever you're watching this, I'm hoping you're having a good time doing it. I'm here on my island, uh, and I've uh, moved forward to the winter, I've time traveled forward, because the in-between time between the end of November and when it was actually going to snow on the island felt kind of boring, and I really wanted to start getting the DIYs for from the snow boys and for the festive holidays. Uh, I haven't gotten any of the festive DIYs yet, but I have built a few snow boys so far and gotten some of those DIYs, so I'm happy that I've gotten some of those. So I don't really have any plans today. I'm going to start my morning chars, uh, which I typically like to walk along the beach, pick up some shells. I know nobody does that <laughs> really anymore, uh, but I have always liked to go around, pick up the shells because, I don't know, when I was little in real life, <laughs> I would go pick up shells with my mom when we would go to the beach. So it doesn't seem like there's a lot of shells so far. Oh, there we are. So I like to pick up the shells. If, you, um, if you're looking to make some bells, if you collect enough and you have the DIY for the shell arch, those sell for a decent amount. Um, I don't really need it, so I just sell the shells. But for whatever reason, picking up the shells feels good to me. It's nice and soothing. Um, looks like it's going to snow on the island. If you look at the sky, it's pretty dark. I know the snow kind of does the same thing that the, the rain typically does, so maybe we'll get some snow here on the island in a few. It's 11 o'clock. Let's plant this tree. So I still enjoy doing kind of the basics of the game. You know, you walk around, pick up shells, you know, go find your fossils. I think the only thing I don't do still is shake trees for the two items that you get. I just, I've got a lot of trees now and I don't know, it's just, it's fine which trees are holding the items. It takes a while. Large snowflake. Thank you, snowboy. I did not make a perfect snowboy yesterday, so I'm very sad about that. What I would like to do, ideally, is find a dung beetle today. Oh, I caught that. Nice. So you can typically find dung beetles pushing your snowballs before you build them into snowboys. Oh, Flick is here. This is my imperfect snowboy. So sad. <laughs> Just wanted to try. Poor thing. So, there's one snowball. I don't know if the other one is going to uh, have a dung beetle pushing, pushing it. If I can even find the other snowball. Oh, it's all the way over there. Hmm. Well, I'm going to leave the snowballs alone for now, and hopefully a dung beetle will spawn. One did yesterday. I was really close to catching it, and then it just flew away, and I was really sad. Oh, my pockets are full. So I'm going... Ooh, balloon. Maybe there's a DIY in it. gonna wait for it to get a little farther away from the water. I don't want to risk it falling into the river. <laughs> oh boy. Nice. My pockets are full. I'll swap it with something. Well, it's not a festive DIY, but cash money doesn't hurt. Go find somewhere to plant this money tree. Let's see. 
I like that. I'm gonna plant it there. Still got all these shells. So let's see if I can pick up a few more shells before I go into Nux today. I have been doing some wintry updates on the island despite not having a bunch of the festive DIYs yet. I've uh, picked up a bunch of toys, some of the toys from the new toy update for Toy Day, and then some toys that I just had from before, trying to make it feel a little more festive. So for instance, this table used to be my pumpkin carving station, and now it is a gift wrapping station. So I've got a little dolly and a toy box and a bear, and I'm using the uh, sewing set as a pretend gift wrapping station. And then I've got all the toys over here too. A little train set, another bear. So it, it like makes Nook's Cranny a uh, toy store. Which I guess in essence it is because it does sell toys. Welcome to Nook's Cranny. So today we have the racing set, mini circuit. It's a better name for it. Let's see. So I read that, oops, oh, gosh darn it. All right, let me sell to you first. Of course, what exactly are you offering? So I did read online as I was about to say before. Um, the toys that they sell in the store here are for to toy day so that you can give them to your villagers. So my, un ooh, nice. my understanding is that you can or should buy a couple of each so that you can give them to your villagers. And then if you want to keep one to have it in your inventory or use it for something else, you can. So I'm going to go ahead and buy two. And then I'll put them back in my inventory inside the house. There's nothing up here that I'm really interested in, so I think I'm gonna head out again. Thank you guys. So this is basically what I do when I first start playing in the morning, or I guess whenever I open the game for the first time during the day. I just go around, I collect my shells, try and find all the fossils that I can. I don't go above and beyond. I don't like climb cliffs to find fossils. So I've got, I've got fossils on a cliff that I can't readily access without an incline uh, or with an incline, I, I say, then I don't really go after them, but I grab them if I can. Let's see if this DIY is something I don't have. Yep. Got the scarecrow. And then I try and go say hi to all of my villagers. This is Yuka's house. We gotta decorate that. But yeah, so I try and say hi to all of my villagers, especially the villagers that I don't have the reaction for. The the final like big reaction. So for instance, this is Raymond's house. And he is a smug villager, I think. Right? Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, but I don't have his final reaction. Oh, and he's crafting. What you crafting? I already have an acoustic guitar too. I do. Oh, well, thanks Raymond. I do like Raymond's house. It looks like an office which I haven't been to a real office in a while with everything going on. But anyway, yeah, so I like to talk to all of my neighbors or villagers because uh, you get friend points, I guess. The more you talk to them, I haven't really given them a bunch of gifts yet, but I know that that's another way that you can up your friendship points with them. Let's 
so I'm back at home. Grab this. This is my secret beach. I kind of like that it's right behind my house. Let's see if anybody else is wandering around the island. No, but Ketchup is home, so let's go talk to Ketchup. She is a peppy villain. Give her a quick hello. Thanks for stopping by, Pumpkin. Let's chat. Toy Day is coming up soon. There's still time to worry about finding the perfect gifts for everyone. <laughs> this is what we live for. I'm not stressed. I'm psyched. Keep telling yourself that, Ketchup. So Ketchup is one of two duck villagers that I have right now. I also have Molly, who was just down here. She is wandering the island as well. But where is everyone? Ooh. Let's go see if a dung beetle has appeared by those snowballs again. A couple days ago I waited a good chunk of the day to see if they would appear and they didn't, so... I'm not too confident. There's not one there. Oh, there's one. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. I hope I don't miss it. is racing. I'm so sad because I missed it the other day. <gasps> I got it! I got the dung beetle! Oh, you're kidding me. <laughs> I guess I'll swap it. Wouldn't that be so sad if I accidentally clicked let it go? Not the time for frozen lyrics. I don't know what I'm doing. Let me go give this to the museum. I finally got one. Now I don't have to worry about it, which is great. And then I can build my snowboy. So what I've learned about snowboys is that if you time travel forward, so you get, if you build a perfect snowboy, you get three days after that of s large snowflakes. So you get your DIY and a large snowflake the first day. And then you get a large snowflake for three days after that. <laughs> Poor Blathers. Um, and if you time travel like a day or two forward, the snowboy will still be there. It'll just be as melted as it would be depending on, oh, I, I said, please tell me, whoops. <laughs> um, yeah, so you can time travel a couple days forward and your snowboy will still be there, but if you time travel backwards in time, all of your snowboys disappear. So make sure that if you are time traveling and you have snowboys and you're waiting around for the large snowflakes that you don't accidentally travel too far back and then they all disappear. Nope, I'm fine. I will, thank you. Alright, it's time to go build a snowboy. I can pick this up now. a decent amount of space to have snowballs appear. If you don't have a lot of snow, just open snow, um, the snowballs won't spawn. And then you won't be able to make a snowboy. So you do need to make sure, oh, there's another duck beetle. How much do they sell for? Now I just wanna catch it. After all that struggle, I catch two on like a, 
five minute window. I guess I'll swap this one too. Way to get them faster, other than just waiting around for balloons. I know that I could probably go on like Nookazon or something like that. I don't really know how that works, I've never used that before. But I'm tempted, this is the first time I've been tempted to trade or, or buy DIYs just because I want to decorate for Christmas so bad on the island. But I haven't gotten there yet. I've only been a few days past December 15th, which is when those balloons show up. So I think I'll, I'll give it another day or two or maybe time travel a little bit to see what I can get. But I do really want to decorate for Christmas. So I'd like to put the snowman, snow boy, right around here. So I'm just gonna keep building this fairly close and then check the size. So the bottom one should be about level with your eyes, I think. I've kind of been guesstimating, but. I did it! I can't believe it. You got everything right. Color, check. Shine, check. Size, check. You made everything about me perfect. We have a word for people like you in the snow world. Amazing. Did you get that? Amazing. I'm so happy right now. I know it's dangerous for snow folks to cry, but I don't think I can help myself. I even can't play it cool here. I'm practically melting with appreciation for you and your snow skills. I think it's only appropriate that I share a DIY recipe with such a gifted snow crafter. Let's see. Ooh, a frozen sculpture. <laughs> Excellent. I would I would say that he looks pretty good, so let's see if I can get a a picture with my snowboy creation. Alright, that looks pretty good. Oh, head dragonfly. <laughs> Alright, I'm pretty stoked about that. Let's go make the frozen sculpture. As you can see, oops, I have plenty of snowflakes. I've just been holding on to them. Or decorating with them. I've dropped them a few places too. This is my little crafting area. Alright, let's craft it. I wonder if I can customize it. Maybe you can only customize the color like all of the other ones and not like the animal. That'd be cool. Oh yeah, it's just the color. Well, I like the natural ice, so I'm going to stick with that. And I'll put my customization kits away. So now where am I going to put the sculpture? Hmm. I think it might be kind of cool over here near the tree farm. Oh, you know what? It might look better near the ice rink. Maybe over here, in this little area. Oops. Mm -hmm. 
That looks pretty cool. Yeah, I like that. Maybe I should move the flower. Yeah, I like that. So now I should find a place to put that flower. How about right here? I think that looks pretty good. I don't have my net anymore. So we'll go buy a net and then we'll finish up. We've been chatting for about 20, 25 minutes or so and it's been fun. Oh, hey, Yuka. I don't want to interrupt your yoga, but I do need to talk to you. So good to see you. It can be quite invigorating to change your routine. Huh. I'm not good at changing routines. <laughs> Maybe there will be another star net. My favorite, well, right now I like the star net because it's festive, but I do like the outdoorsy series of items, of tools. Star net. I've stopped crafting my tools because I have money and I'm lazy. <laughs> That's it. Let's go find a good place to sit. Hmm. I'm gonna go sit by the snow boy. Spent a lot of effort making him, so he should get a little feature, I think. Alright guys, well thank you so much for watching. Uh, I had a really good time, I hope you did too. If you're so inclined, please go ahead and like and subscribe. I'm just learning how to do all of this and having a good time doing it uh, so just let me know what you think if you have any suggestions for me let me know in the comments below and I hope you guys have a really great day thanks